Hey class, so for this exercise, there's seven different things that I want you to accomplish, and they're all related to mesh and mesh tools. So um, let's get started. So for the very first thing I want you to do with our cute little robot that I got off of our Arnold, um, which is the rendering um, component of Maya, off of one of their demonstration videos. Um, it's really cute, but I broke it and you're going to fix it. So for this first exercise, I want you to add some edge loops to these eyeballs right here. So for this particular um, eye, if I hit the number three, it's gonna go smooth. And I wanna have a nice crisp eyelid. So the way you're gonna go about doing that and before we do anything, make sure your outliner is open. So go to Windows and Outliner if it's not. And also make sure your modeling toolkit is open. So that's this little icon with the hammer. Okay, so the easiest way or the way that we've been doing um, adding edge loops so far is using the multi-cut tool, holding down the control key and then clicking and dragging on our model. Hold on. If for some reason you can't select a given part of the model, go up to your arrow icon to activate the selection tool and then try and select it again. So now with it selected, let's try multi-cut and hold down control and click. And I'm clicking and dragging and just placing that multi-cut. If I wanted to undo this, go to edit and undo. Um, and then there's another way to insert an edge loop. So I'm gonna to go to Mesh Tools and Insert Edge Loop. This does the exact same thing. And you just click in space and drag until you're ready to place that edge loop. So add an edge loop and let's press three to just see how, um, how our object is looking. And that's looking a lot better. I'm gonna use my multi-cut one more time to just add an edge loop on the outside. And now if you look at our model, it has quite a nice um, sharp edge. Okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. The second thing we're gonna do is fix this hole on the top of the eyelid. So you can see after I press three, you're seeing that there's one, a hole in this red surface, and then also that it's pretty distorted. You're seeing some puckering on these edges. So let's press the number one for um, hard surface preview mode. And then let's go about filling this hole. So I'm gonna select by edges. So object won't really work. Um, what you need is edge. And I'm gonna double click on this edge loop here. And you can see it's hard to tell, but it has turned orange. And now I just go up to mesh tools our mesh and fill hole. Now um, this has filled this area with the surface but it hasn't um, given us the geometry or the topology that we're looking for. So we're going to have to add in the edges ourselves otherwise this is one big end gone which we don't need. So to add in edges we can use our multi-cut tool. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click click on one corner and click on the second corner and then hit enter. And that creates a little surface cut and creates our first face. Now, here's a warning. If you're doing this while smooth preview is active, it's gonna be a lot harder because smooth preview is just an approximation of what it would look like if it was smooth. Um, the vertices actually haven't been moved they're in their original place. So it makes it really hard to see what's going on. So make sure you're in hard surface preview mode, number one. All right, so you're just gonna keep clicking, click again, and then hit enter to select, click, click, select, click, click, select. For this one, you're gonna have to go all the way across and then all the way across again. And now when we look at this object and we press three, it's like there is never a hole. 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is look at our little alien here and we're gonna make, we're gonna combine this um, piece with this piece, the body piece. And we're also going to bridge from the top of this model to the bottom of this model. So we're going to bridge the gap between these two objects. Um, however, you'll notice that these are two objects. So the first thing we're wanting to do is actually combine them into one object. And that way Maya will let us create faces and um, do more than if these were two separate objects. So first I'm gonna go into object select mode. Make sure your arrow is active and you're in object selection mode. Or for your marking menu, it's right click and object mode. And I'm gonna select the first body and then the top object here. And I'm gonna hit combine in my modeling toolkit. So this also is under mesh as well, combine. So all of these um, shortcuts here are also up in these menus as well. You just have to kind of hunt for them since there's so much. So now you can see once I hit combine, both of these objects have now turned green. So that's Maya's indication that, hey, this is one object. So now I want to use the bridge command to go from this edge up to this edge right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go by edge selection select by double clicking this bottom edge, use shift and double click this top edge, and then go to edit mesh and bridge. Now I'm getting this error and probably some of you are too, that it requires an equal number of border edges. I know this, there is an equal number. So there's something weird about this particular edge that it's not liking, which is fine. So what we're gonna do is double click on this edge. So it turns yellow. Double click. And then I'm gonna extrude just this edge and use this blue arrow to pull this out go to scale it in using the multi-directional scale. And then I'm also gonna move this up using the move just to get it a little closer. And I may scale this in a little more. There we go. So we just extruded this edge. Now, if I go back to select and double shift and double click select, um, and now if I bridge, it's going to work perfectly. We can also, if you note, add divisions here, if we wanted to, we could twist. I don't think we want to right now, but we could, it's kind of cool. And the way I'm making these changes to these numbers, you could just type in something here or if you use your left mouse button and just kind of drag over the name over in this menu, you can change these options. So I'm gonna reset this to zero. And so that piece is done. Okay, for our next piece, we're going to do the same thing um, or a similar thing with this arm piece here. So right now, Again, the arm is a separate piece from the body, so we need to go into object select mode or right click and make sure you're in object mode. Select the arm and select the body and hit combine. So they both turn green and we both have one object. So the next tool that we're going to use is target weld and that uses vertices to combine these objects. So let's go into our modeling toolkit and change to vertex selection mode. Um, with this model, sometimes when you're hovering over it with your marking menu, you don't have the option of vertex. And I think it's the way that this particular model was set up. Um, it's actually made out of surfaces or something. So the easiest way to select by vertex is in that modeling toolkit. There we go. 
And now what I'm going to do is go to Mesh Tools and Target Weld. And what I'm going to do is drag this one vertice all the way over to the target vertice. And you can see it just moves it right over and snaps it together. So let's do another one. Click and drag. Click one from one vertice to the other and click and drag. Um, so this is a little tricky, especially because it gets underneath the arm. But give it your best shot. Oops, and if you drag it to the wrong place, like I just did, just hit undo, and then you can click and drag. Especially gets tricky underneath the arm here. So make sure you're dragging to the right place. And that should be good. So that's target weld for you. Next, we'll delete a stray edge and a stray vertex point. Okay, so we'll go back to object selection mode and let's look at these feet. So if I get really close to them and first you'll see on the left foot, we've got a stray edge right here. So to delete it, remember from the lecture, um, deleting an edge is not as simple as just hitting the backspace. Now, if I look even though I deleted the edge, it's still, these little edges here are still broken into two. Um, and you can see if you switch to vertex mode that there's actually still vertex points right here and here. So what we need to do, I'm gonna reverse that. What we need to do when we're deleting is to actually go to delete the edge and then press command and delete. I believe it's control and delete on a PC. Um, now when you look at the edge that's been deleted or the edges that remain, they are whole again. So delete that one edge and then we're going to go to this other foot. And on this other foot is just a stray vertice and we can see it if we switch to vertex mode. And it is right here on this side and for this individual point you can just hit delete sometimes i just always hit command and delete just to be safe okay and so now a um, few more things we are going to combine this entire model into one so i want you to go back into object selection mode click and drag the whole model and then to deselect the background we're going to hold down shift and click so we don't want the background or the base. We just want this model. And then hit combine. So it's all one object. And you can see in this um, outliner that it is now one object and we can just call this alien. There we go. And the last thing I want us to do, or two more things that I want you to do one is I want you to change the color of this alien. It's really cute. Um, so now if we select this object and go into our attribute editor, you can see kind of all of the different, I'm wondering about this one surface, it's a little weird. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. There's a little bit of a bump here. I think it's maybe because of the order that I've um, that I filled in this hole. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. So if you go into your attribute editor, remember how the attribute editor is the kitchen sink of all of the parts of your object. And all the way down this list, so this is all the different history of this object. If you click these arrows all the way down, actually, you know what? Let's not click the arrows all the way down. Let's go to our first delete history. Let's go to edit, delete by type, and history. Bam. And so now what you'll see over in the attribute editor is all those other little nodes were deleted. And we just have the alien, its shape, 
its material, which is the AI standard surface, and then um, the material for the pupil. Let's go to AI standard surface, and we're going to change the color. So if you click on this color wheel, you may get an um, if you click on this color wheel, you can change the color to anything you like. I'm going to do like a yellow and I'm going to make it more of an orangey yellow just because I like orangey yellows. And then we're going to save this file. So when you go to file, save scene as, you're going to by default save it as a binary. However, when you're saving this, let's call this end. When you're saving this, you're going to get an error message because the current file type cannot be changed. What does that mean? That means instead of saving this scene as a Maya binary, you're going to save it as a Maya ASCII because that was originally what it was called. And remember, Maya ASCII has additional, it saves a text file of all of the different changes to this mo um, model. And um, you can actually edit that in a text editor. Or, okay, so let's rename this end, save it as a Maya ASCII, and hit save. And then I'd like you to upload this and also one more thing I'd like you to just we're going to be talking a lot about Arnold and the renderer um, but just do an IPR render which is this little IPR icon right here so you can see what this looks like at, with its photorealistic editor and let's hit screen sh share yeah, my cat's hungry. And let's just take a screenshot of this and upload it to Blackboard and you are done with this exercise. Thank you.